It pains me even to say it. Musician Mila Jam makes history as first playable black trans woman in a major games video game. As you know, um, I went through the character roster for Concord just Friday. The game has just come out. It's a $200 million game produced by Sony, a new hero short shooter to compete with um, games like Overwatch and maybe even Deadlock in the future. And uh, yeah, and it looks like the chudge have taken the L. We've bent the knee, and a black trans woman is in a major video game. It's been shut down. The game has been out for 10 days, and Sony has pulled the fucking plug. They've announced that on September 6, Concord will be permanently shut down. Concord has maintained a player count of less than 100 almost continually. There's a game called Sex with Hitler um, that has maintained a considerably higher player count uh, continuously while Concord has floundered. And um, they are literally just giving up on this, which is, like, unbelievable. Because usually... A game comes out like this, I'm like, well, we've already invested $200 million into it, so the launch didn't go well, but that's okay, we're working on a project here, this is a, we, we have a competent project, apparently the game, someone said the gameplay was okay, I don't know if that's true, so let's just tweak some things, let's uh, make it free to play, let's see if we can do microtransactions, like, let's, let's see how this plays out over a season if we, if we take a different angle to it. No. And it's it's a really like it's a really like making the fucking game is what's expensive. So it's a really shocking thing to just be like, yeah, fuck this. Um, you could like for them to do this. It is a deliberate slap in the fucking face from the executives in Sony to the studio that made it. They are not happy. They and and they th this honestly it kind of feels like they're trying to punish the studio. Like, you spend all this fucking money. And, like, just imagine, like, Sony's still in Japan, right? So just imagine, like, the most, like, stick-up-his-ass Japanese businessman in the entire fucking world. You're probably not too far from whoever makes decisions in Sony. And you put this game in front of them and says, Oh, sir, so, uh, this game for American audience with ugly brat character, uh, it costs 200 million U.S. dollar review, and it has made literally no money. Mm. And the Japanese man's like, oh, I see. Then um, the guy, of course, the guy putting the laptop in front of the Japanese man has to do that thing where he, like, like takes a deep bow and, like, like slams his head against the table. Like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, uh, Masharu. I am so sorry. Like, they're doing that thing that everyone's bowing to him. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm disgraced. Um, and he's just like, so... So I was told that if I put the black tranny in the fucking game and I sold it to Americans, it would make a lot of money, it would get free press, BlackRock would buy our stock, and we'd make it all back. What the fuck is this? So he's like, okay, no, fuck you. Fuck your studio. Fuck the hole you came out from. Fuck everybody. I want everybody involved in this fired. I want literally everyone fired. I want the studio cut off. I want the game shut down. And refund everybody. What? Oh, we made two hundred thousand dollars in sales. Okay, fuck it. Ref refund them. It's all a tax write-off. There's no point. <laughs> the, literally, it's a two hundred million dollar tax write-off. Okay. Um. Dogaza. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you gotta. You, I want to feel. I want to. Don't they even like kiss feet? Or is that only in Indonesia? I think it is Indonesia where they kiss the feet. In Japan, they'll they'll bow real fucking low. So the question, as a result of this, is: What does this indicate? Does this indicate anything in regards to markets? Is are they going to cut back on DEI? Interesting question. I think that. For general game studios, especially including the U.S., it will indicate – here's a because th this is a thing that the games market does, is that they follow trends. They follow the realistic modern warfare shooter trend. They follow the um, battle royale trend. They follow fucking zombies. How long did zombie games come out every fucking day? For a long time. So the, the game studios, the big soulless corporations, they just follow trends. So I think the, the number one signal from this is hero shooters are dead and they might believe that until Deadlock comes out. 
um, that might revive some interest in it. But I think right now you're not going to get another hero shooter coming out, uh, which I think most people are going to be happy to hear. <laughs> um, however, I think the bigger takeaway, and this might only apply to Japanese games, um, that Wukong game was such a big success. And then I think China's working on another game that people are interested in. And um, I think that Sony is probably going to say the American market sucks. And I don't know what the fuck they want. Like, imagine if you had no idea, if you didn't know anything about America. And you were just getting, like, surface-level business insider reports about what the games industry in the U.S. is like. And you and you spend $200 million trying to appease it by adding the most ugly characters you could come up with. And then you are rewarded with literally nothing. They just take your money and they fucking burn it. You would never trust that market again. You're like, what? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you people. You're insane. You're literally insane. What the fuck am I doing spending my time trying to make you fucking games? Fuck you. So then you look at China. What is China like? Um, you put Monkey Man and game, and then you add Booba Lady. And the Chinamen are like, I give you millions of Darus. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to give you a hundred a million of yarn forever and ever. I want to buy all your microtransactions so I can make my name gold. And everyone's like, oh my god. Chong Guo got the big gold name for it. He paid a thousand yuan for that. I know which market I'm appealing to. The fuck? You want <laughs> I know which market makes more sense to me as a businessman when I'm trying to sell games to. Okay, China shit. Okay, we'll make everything fucking jade and gold and add those weird thatched roofs that are like red and shit and we'll add booba. Got it. Okay, I can make that fucking game. Black people, trannies in America that always... Like, you either make a game for white Americans that pisses off the trannies, or you make a tranny game that doesn't fucking do well and everyone hates. Uh, whatever. Fuck you. You only got 300 million people. China's got, like, a billion. Uh, easier to go for them. Yeah. Easy. Easy. So I think that's what, uh, again, I, and people get mad at me when I talk about China, but I think if you're trying to make a video game and you want to make money, what's the easier market? China. Simple. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of NoFair. Remember to like and subscribe.